there's some massive confusion and I'm going to suggest everybody just to chill out on this one right here. New Alpha Raids Data Mind and I, I do want to give a shout out to Tana where there's going to be this Alpha Raid, but don't upgrade him. I'm telling you, just don't. And, and the reason why people are getting all hyped is because we've got the Gamma Raids, right? Which require gear tier 16. And then there's this Data Mind that says Alpha Raid five and it's gonna have gear tier 16 most nodes require global city cosmic traits select nodes require web warriors and astonishing x-men i'm not gonna lie i upgraded one of my web warriors one of my astonishing sets x-men already and then they're saying ignore the data mine so archangel dropped into my chat today and said ignore the data mine so uh i believe that this is not accurate information and uh, I wish I would have known, you know, 12 hours ago or something, because I did upgrade one of my web warriors and one of my astonishing X-Men. I think I took a bishop, which is not the worst character to take up, uh, because this may or may not happen. So stay tuned. Also, I want to talk about this in this video right here. I talked about uh, with Valley Flying that there was something coming um, that concerned me. So there was word... Uh, given out to me and to other people that based on the feedback uh, from obvious and the players voice movement and all the different players that they are not moving on with this idea that I really really hated and I, I'm not going to talk about what the idea is today maybe in the future I'll be able to talk about it but I, I did make a video a couple weeks ago about blue stars which is this is this this idea that we're talking about is not a new progression system I just want to put that out there I think we're, you know, due for a new progression system. Tana made a video about 10 stars. So what I was talking about in this video was not about a new progression system. It was something else. But I do want to say, to me, it felt really awful. And the way that what they were proposing made me feel was the same kind of feeling I got when I played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And you could not take a character past gear tier 11 unless it was seven yellow stars it was just a horrible feeling basically characters became useless unless they were seven yellow stars you couldn't take them past gear tier 11 now star wars galaxy of heroes and marvel strike force or apples and oranges everything's different about the two games so it's hard to compare them and the, the this thing that they were proposing that they're not going to do just felt really bad and I'm really glad that they're not going to be moving on with it. Also, the Nexus hard campaign chapters three and four release date have been delayed for five days. So this is supposed to come out on Monday the 18th. So that's from Archangel himself. Uh, I believe Titania and Union Jack are gonna be on those nodes. So that's something to look forward to. And then also the TVA store is running right now and everybody should have got 160,000 currency inside of their inbox. Now, the thing is, this is running for five days in total. It's running off of the normal stores. So like before it was running off of a 12 hour timer. This one is running off of uh, an eight hour timer. So spin, spin, spin. I know I've been buying teal gear because it's kind of hard to spin down that much. And I know that this solution wasn't perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. I, I, I just, you know, more stuff. Yay, 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 right? Then also, there's been a lot of talk about gold versus training mats and why some people seem to run out of gold and some people run out of training mats. And I think it comes down to this. Like if you spend half of your gold every day buying gear, a like gear tier 18, as opposed to taking that gold and upgrading characters, if you're upgrading characters, you're going to run out of trading mat. If you're buying with gold gear, you're probably going to run out of gold and not so much training mats. That's the only thing I can think of as what is happening now this is from a uh, minball tv server and this is a straight up rumor i have zero idea on uh, where this information comes from or anything like that but it kind of excites me and this is from abdallah the third and right down here at the bottom says two new game mode one it will be the world boss like in marvel future fight I played that game, so I, I kind of a, a general idea what that's like. The other one is one one v one, so it's like the PvP duel in the past, but more improved. We'll have to see how that plays out. I, I mean, I have no idea how accurate this is or anything. Um, also on this server, like if you and I'll link to this server in the description. If you scroll up, there's a um, 
spreadsheet you can look at like for characters in the pipeline i i really don't know what to make of this uh if, if it feels like it's been pretty accurate in the past then also tomorrow there is going to be some downtime uh that right here it looks like at 9 30 pacific time for 30 to 60 minutes and they are not saying what it's for they just say it's minor background processes not a major update i believe that this is some sort of anti-hacking technology i have no idea but that's what i choose to believe that this is is this is keeping the integrity of the game right and then right here probably one of the most upvoted posts i've seen on reddit in a hot minute I was gonna buy Rodin, but I thought about it and decided to buy Baldur Gates 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and treat myself to lunch instead. Yeah, if you're playing PC console games versus mobile games, uh, you know, the value proposition is is definitely skewed. Uh, you know, I, I feel like Marvel Strike Force, you know, if, if, if you're spending, it can get very expensive, right? And so we're gonna do something that we have not done in a minute and that is a proper offer review. I don't feel like I've done this in a long time. Time heist. Eerie music when you click on this screen. Listen to this. It's the brown noise. Uh, what's annoying about this time heist is that there's not just one, but there's like several. It doesn't it add up to like over $330? And you get the horrible brown noise. If you, if you want to experience the brown noise yourself, you brown noise yourself, just click on the time heist and you'll get to hear it. You know, you're probably using Marvel Strike Force at that time of the day anyways. Then they're talking about these Ronin offers that they're making fun. Do what you gotta do. The thing about Ronin is he's a part of the new Avengers, which is gonna be required for the next legendary character. Daily Duel. If you need these purple T3s, which I do not need, I have 291,000. Uh, this is a relatively good way of getting purple T3s. I know that is a significant bottleneck early in the game. And then there's 100 T4s. I will not be buying this. All right, we got a Ronin offer. We got more Ronin offers. And then for me, I never consider these offers, or at least I don't give an evaluation on these offers that have event currency because it's going to be a better deal for someone that has done well in the event and let's say buying an offer, not necessarily this $100 offer or whatever, will move you up uh, to the next milestone. So those are whale stones. So everybody's got to do their own analysis on whether or not these were that I typically never buy any of these offers that have event currencies or event orbs or any of that. I just scroll on by, right? All right, then we've got elite fives. Um, they, I don't think this is great. Um, for me right now, I'm mostly interested in Elite Sixes at $10 with 15 character shards of something I like. And I think there were two significant offers like that. There was a Vol offer. I think there was also a, I, I can't remember if it was Cosmo or, or what it was, but it was $10 and it had an Elite Six and it had 15 character shards. I'm, I'm down for more of that. Uh, absolutely. Uh, elite fives aren't as meaningful to me anymore. I know that the anchor pricing on these light fives back in the day was like $35 a piece, but it's just not anymore. I, I'm mostly only looking for elite sixes. Elite fours are very little use to me. Now, where they're getting a premium right now is for sure on dark promotion credits. I know I want to take my black cat up to another level, but am I going to be willing to spend $100 to upgrade my black cat? So this is kind of where they're like really, you know, sticking it to this. And this is a super cracking offer if you want to upgrade your characters on uh, dark promotion credits. Um, again, Kang for me is one of the best characters in the game. I don't know, top five character, let's say for sure. Maybe top three, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, if I could pick these up reasonably, you know, like $10 for 50 shards or something like that, then I'm more in the market. This is kind of like standard pricing. Um, you know, maybe if I was you know, only 50 character shards away from going to seven stars, uh, then maybe it would be worth $30 for me. Uh, vengeful, vengeful, we've got Ghost Rider Robbery, and the arena's kind of an RNG mess right now, unless you have Super Scroll. And so just keep that in mind, this is arena team. Also, I'm thinking about uh, portions of the Secret Defender team, uh, like Ms. Marvel, for sure, Hard Light. 
uh, to take to gear tier 18 to run into Dark Dimension 6. So that's just something worth considering that a lot of these characters people are taking into Dark Dimension. We got Vol. Wow, Vol's got a crazy health pool, that's for sure. Uh, then we've got Beta Ray Bill. Oh my goodness, that's the damage. Neither of these are great deals. Pretty much all of this is trash. I'm just going to say all of this is trash. Dark, Dark Beast is node farmable. And then we've got Titania. $5 for 50 character shards is, is great. But as we talked about at the beginning of the video, uh, I, I guess next Monday, they're going to be releasing two new campaign nodes. What is it? Nexus Hard Chapter 3 and 4. Uh, that's where, in theory, Titania and then British Zemo. What is that? Union Jack is going to be. So do what you got to do. Uh, that doesn't really do it for me. But anyways, and then the rest of the offers are trash. They're just all trash. All of this stuff is trash. I can't get into anything. So uh, that'll do it for today's video. Kind of went over like an old school offer review like I did back in the day. Let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.